Hey everybody, today we're going to, well I'm going to make my gear for my death knight. Not death knight, oh my god. Dragon knight. I hope I haven't been saying this the whole time. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the sets that I'm going to make for leveling my dragon knight basically. Um, and a thing to point out, I have actually decided what kind of build I'm going to go with. Um, going forward, so we're gonna unfortunately, even though I'm kind of against it, go with a magical build just because I want a fun character to play. I know it's like the proper shield tank type thing, and you can do stamina and you can have a restoration staff which you still do magic for, but to me, that's kind of slow. Um, for leveling, I know it's not that difficult to level, it's not that difficult to kill individual mobs, and I want an AoE type leveling build that I can have fun with and do lots of damage with and just like destroy everything. So <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm actually going to start on my set pieces for this build now and I've grinded my character up to about level 8 I think it is right now but I'm trying to get to level 10. Um, just to wear all the gear because I think they go up in weird steps so the first set that I'm gonna make here is called a uh, seducer set and I'll just show you on the map where this is. I'm in Grotwood at the minute so for the Aldmeri's minion that's just north of Elden Root and it's here the Temple of the Eight. So if you've got another character that can craft which is what I'm doing because my character isn't high enough level to get here yet um, then just head on down here to build your set basically and oh okay then we're we're traveling at a faster rate than I anticipated. Um, and you only need three research traits to make this set. So there will be this set apparel tab and an apparel tab, which there is no set bonus for it. So to make the set gear, you need at least three research traits. And to do that, like I put in my crafting video, if you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out. What you do is um, any piece of armor that you get that has a bonus on it, for example, my chest piece here, is reinforced. And that is a trait of that armor. And what that does is increases armor value because it's reinforced. But what would happen is you can research these traits. So it, it destroys your armor, but you get to research the trait and then later use it on your armor that you build. Right, so reinforce is what I'm going with. And actually I'm going to, no, I'm not going with reinforced, sorry. I'm going with this set piece and I'm gonna go with divines which increases Munda stone effects and I'm actually going to get a crit Munda stone for this build just because we're going to do kind of like a damage over time type build so dots um, is kind of going to be a bit weird because I've combined multiple different builds together to make this and I think it's going to work, I think it's going to be fun but I'm going to adjust it as I go and see what happens just get the feel for it but first to start I'm gonna go with divines because that's a pretty good choice I've mentioned this before in one of my other videos that it just goes crazy with your crit rate basically because it increases the Munda stone effect so percentage wise on your gear it'll just like throw it way up um, and give you really good crit rate and on dots crit rate is very good so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do four pieces of the seducer set actually it doesn't matter now so I'm going to go with four seducer and it doesn't matter what I really enchant because right now I've only got one whip weapon set. Um, at level 15 you get unlocked a second weapon so obviously I've got two pieces of set gear on my weapon and shield and I swap to a different weapon I lose two pieces of gear. Unless it's enchanted with the same thing then I only lose one but um, not enchanted same set then I only lose one piece when I swap weapons but I, it doesn't matter right now, I'm going to update my gear, but for right now I've just kind of like thrown something together to start with. And we're going to do four seducer, and that's going to be on my shoulder, head, weapon, and shield. So one hand weapon, whatever you want it to be. Or for argument's sake, whatever you have three traits researched on. Um, luckily three traits isn't too bad to research, it'll take you like a couple days, a few days, something like that, depending on off how often you log in. Well, not really. It'll take you quite a while if you want to get every single set piece research to three. Every single piece of armor research to three, because you've got to do like gloves, hat, shoes, and then when you start crafting you only have one researchable item at a time, and it'll take forever. So actually you're looking probably more like a 
a week or so, a couple weeks, unless you put your skill points into the crafting thing. But if you've already got it, it should be fine. Three is very easy, so compared to eight. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to make a... Shoulders are going to be light armor. Headpiece is going to be heavy. So I'm only making two pieces of gear for this. Um, and let's go with shoulders. I just have three, so that's really lucky. Uh, let's have a look here. I'm going to make some shoulders. Level. So I can either do eight or ten. And I'm eight right now. So I think... I'm going to go with eight just to wear it now, just because I'm getting fed up with not having any gear. Um, and then I'll maybe update it around 15 instead of 20, just because uh, that's when I'll get weapon swapping, that's when I'll have to adjust my build anyway, so let's go with that. And for the design, it can be whatever you want. It doesn't change anything, really, unless you want to look cool. So I'm going to go with... Uh, <laughs> this is a difficult decision. I'm just going to go with Bosmer, since I'm a Bosmer. That'll work, okay. And then we... Oh, we don't have divines. Really? Okay, so, change of plan, guys. Instead, there's the cost of renting. Uh, sprinting, okay. Sprinting, roll dodging, and flocking. Um, I think instead I'll go with infused. That is a good secondary one if you don't have divines researched. So I'm gonna go with infused for this piece of gear here and we'll we'll roll with it and see what's going on. So your creation, I'm gonna craft that there and that's very good. And then I'm gonna improve it and I'm only gonna do it to green but I'm gonna swap it out at 15 and it's gonna like go really quick and I'm probably gonna be overpowered anyway for having a full set of gear at my level which is quite rare. <laughs> So we're just going to go with green set for now. So there we go, first one done, infused enchantment, part of the seducer armor set. Cool. And next one we're going to move on to is the helmet. So heavy helmet, again seducer, so set apparel. And we're going to find the helmet here. We're going to make that level 8. And then you can choose whatever helmet style you want. Uh, they, they are quite ugly at low level for the most part, so... Just kind of pick whatever. I'll go with red guard just to see what happens. <laughs> I don't think it looks that great though. So helmet I fully researched, so I've got divines on here, and I'll just go with divines, and I've swapped that to level ten by accident. Okay, level eight divines, and I'm going to craft that, and then I'm gonna improve it to green. Yay! And I'm, I've am i like leveled up my crafting improvements for the most part to max, so it doesn't take very much to upgrade them to green, really. Uh, next piece, so we've got to do the sword in blacksmith again. Um, set weapons, sword or dagger, I've got, I'm going to just go with a sword. Uh, level 8. And then you can pick whatever you want. Bosmer is a bit like rustic-y looking. Um, what's it? Ultima is a bit proper looking. Argonian, I think they're like slightly curved or like kind of like a machete looking one. Dunmer is curvy. Orc is straight. Redguard is curvy. Breton is straight. I'll go with Redguard since they're like sword masters or something. And oh yeah, I forgot to look up what it is. Oh, I'm gonna go with this one because penetration is always useful. So, uh, for a good bet, I'm going to go with this one and see how it goes. So this is a work in progress as a leveling build, so it's nothing final at all. So don't get really excited and then like complain that I'm doing something wrong, because I probably am. It's just that this is something I'm making for fun, um, and I'm kind of making my own thing based on what skills I want to use, so there we go. And the seducer set, if you didn't notice, is magicka recovery and like all sorts of magicka things. We're not going to go for the five, even though it would be good. Um, I don't have enough pieces for that and I'd rather the damage output instead. So we're going to go for four set piece, which is magicka recovery, and I'm going to start dumping points into magicka. So we've got that done now. Weapon, helmet, and shoulders. And what I'm going to move on now to is the shield so let's 
be here. Set apparel. Because apparently shield is apparel. We're, that's, we're just going to roll with that. Um, shield, again, choose your style. You can kind of see in the image what it's going to look like. They don't look particularly good at this level, to be honest. No matter what you get. So, yeah. Try it, why not? Let's go with red guard and see how that goes. And again, I've got divine, so I'm going to do that. Level 8, red guard, yep. Craft that up. And then improve my apparel to green. Awesome. We were successful. Okay, so I've done, hopefully, all the seducers. So uh, that, 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 and then my weapon. So four pieces of seducers. We're done with that. Next one I'm going to move on to is Law of Julianus. So that's actually in Rothgar, and I'm going to show you on the map quickly. This is only available if you've got the Orsinium expansion, like the Orc one, because this map only becomes available at that point unless you do... If you've got the um, subscription, then you can just head here because all the expansions are unlocked for you, but if you didn't buy this and you don't have a dis subscription, then you can't craft this set. And the other downside of the Law of Juliana set is that it requires six traits. So if you're just starting out and you're kind of in between like around level 30 and you've done your bits of crafting and things, you're probably not gonna have six traits on everything. Um, so what you could do is like two pieces, but it's a good DPS set to have and it's quite easy to get for a DPS set. Um, for more end game kind of thing, but if you already got six traits of everything researched, then that's fine. You should definitely go with that. If you don't, and you just started crafting, and you're kind of a bit at the beginning stages, I think Twilight's Embrace is a good alternative, and that one only needs three, and that's also in Grotwood, but down the bottom here. And I'll actually put where you can find all of these sets in the description below, but for every um, Dominion Alliance thing. So, no matter who you are, I will give the information to you. But, yeah, so next we're heading to Rothgar, uh, city of Orsinium that you can see there. And it's going to be here. It's called Boreal Forge. And I'm just going to head to the nearest teleport now for you guys. Alright, heading down to Boreal Forge. This might take a while. But enjoy the scenery of the crows. Oh no, I've been attacked by a spider. No, I haven't. Okay, cool. Alright, we've arrived at the crafting location for the Law of Juliana set, which is a really good uh, magic DPS set that you should get if you can. But if you can't, again, just get Twilight's Embrace, which also has like crit and spell damage and stuff like that. So, very useful. But I'm gonna start off with Law of Juliana since I can, which is good. And what I'm gonna do. I only have two pieces of not light armor um, on my gear, so I know that sounds really weird as a tank, but that's what I'm going with to try and get the most fun, and I'm going to adjust as I go, so if it turns out to be rubbish, then I'll change it. But yeah, so I'm going to go with, so we've got the heavy helm already, and the next thing I'm going to go with is a medium chest, and the rest is all going to be light armor. So I just need to craft my, no. I need this. Okay. I just need to craft my, um, uh, set apparel, medium chest. Oh, guys, I don't have it researched. <laughs> this is terrible. All right. So what I'm going to do is swap out the chest for, what do I have? Right. I've got medium shoulders. Damn. <laughs> Did I already do shoulders? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, change of plans for lack of, um, I mean for for the amount of laziness I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna go with heavy chest, so I have two heavy pieces, and I will change it at level 15. I'll fix all of this. These are just small hiccups, so we'll get there. So for now, we are, we are doing all light armor, except um, for chest and helm, which are gonna be heavy. So I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna do shoes. And let's just make this quickly with divines, and I've got that. Yep, that's good. I'm going to go with Bosmer for all of it, just because. So, right. 
shoes. I'm gonna make them quickly without upgrading anything yet, just so it goes a bit quicker, because these stay the same. Gloves. Legs. Oh no, we've run out. Alright guys, I'm back. And what's happened is basically I have failed to find more jute. I've checked the auctions, I've explored, and it's just not happening right now. So what I'm going to have to do is find this jute on my own. And I've been searching this map and I have found like two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the video here. But what I was going to continue with is, so I was going to do the helm and chest as heavy armor, the rest is cloth or light armor. So your legs, gloves, boots and belt all should have been cloth, all should have been Juliana's set. Which is what I'm going to do as soon as I find more jute. So I'm sorry this video got kind of ruined um, because of my lack of preparation but hopefully next time you'll see my character will be wearing its full set of gear, it's gonna be amazing and Thanks again for watching. Again, I apologize, but uh, we'll get there. Don't worry. Um, if you liked this video, found it helpful, of course, throw me a like or subscribe if you want to see more. I will be, I'm bringing out more, don't worry. It's all on the way. End of my video in this really nice place here, as you can see. I was quite pleased with scenery. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it as well, as much as I'm enjoying it. Looks pretty good here. Nice waterfall up there, nice mountains. And yeah, I'm gonna end this video in the sunshine with a big smile on my face that I've not completed my video. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you again next time and thanks a lot for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.